on behalf of Amrita School of Arts and Science, uh, we heartily welcome you, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yeah, I'm actually privileged to be part of this wonderful gathering. Thank you for inviting me. A special thanks to Lakshmi. And uh, I feel immensely privileged, not just because uh, my topic is of social relevance, but also because I'm going to speak to a, a community who are our future change makers. So thank you so much uh, once again. Yes. So we'll just start. Yes. Sir. Uh, by profession, I'm a naval architect. So actually, I'm supposed to design ships. But fortunately, un or unfortunately, I'm in the media industry. Um, I was a part of uh, uh, Marine Bus TV, which was the world's uh, first maritime TV channel. Then we went on to uh, produce movies. Dan Trippelman was one of them. Now we are a part of uh, Bismaya Max Studios. We also have uh, Epica Animation and uh, Aries Flex Cinema Theatres in Toronto. But I am here before you not because of my corporate experience, but because of the few years I have been with uh, a lot of social volunteers a lot of youth so that is what uh, will help me to address you about the topic which i'm going to present before i present topic it is important for me to tell you something about uh, a whatsapp group that i am involved it's called flood volunteers we formed this group uh, during emergency at the kerala floods uh, it was an emergency and what we did we just it was, it's not a registered ngo we just started taking up people we have people from all walks of life in that uh, group called flood volunteers students teachers doctors lawyers health professionals specially able members transgenders so every community was involved in that and our primary job at that time was to uh, do the rescue and uh, rehabilitation process we did that but after that uh, we understood that this group has immense potential it can do a lot of things so we thought we should stay back and we stood back and we stood back and when then we involved got involved in uh, rehabilitation livelihood programs like we didn't have any ngo backings we didn't have any corporate backing csr so we used self source money to build houses uh, we built 14 houses this whatsapp group alone built 14 houses in alipi district we also were part of uh, partial reconstruction of 200 houses across kerala and then we moved on to livelihood programs where we supported uh, single mothers with jobs. We, people had lost their jobs, so we supported single mothers. Uh, then we helped transgenders with jobs. Uh, female sex workers were given adequate training. So all those things were part of our livelihood program. And then when the COVID stuck, uh, we had to be more responsible. Uh, we could not just go out in the open and uh, unlike floods, you know, where we go out in the open for rescue, we could not do that uh, because the COVID situation didn't permit us to do that. So we used technology more. Uh, our volunteers, uh, uh, in fact, one of them is a part of you actually, uh, Noble Prince is a part of Amrita Institute. So, uh, Amrita Vishwadhyaya, but so he was also part of this. So, we developed India's first IVR backed COVID tracking system, which is highly successful. After that, only government implemented their software technology. We also designed uh, India's first uh, contactless swap collection vehicle. It's a Jeep which will go out in the remote with just one doctor and collect swabs. So that was also done by these social volunteers. Then uh, that time when the face shields were costing 400 rupees, people could not afford it. So we had a uh, designed and made face shields for 15 rupees. So we gave, gave it free of cost. Because of this, our uh, policemen, ASHA workers, they all were able to purchase it. And then uh, we were also involved in uh, rescuing students from Italy, Nigeria. Uh, their media helped a lot. So it was all possible because of media support. And then recently, we also developed uh, an indigenous uh, uh, COVID protection device, which really became a successful thing. I will come to that later. So I'm sorry to stretch this far, but it was important to tell you uh, what is the power of youth or social volunteers and media. OK, now coming back to the topic. Uh, the topic given to me is the role of youth and media in uh, making an inclusive society. Now you have to tell uh, uh, this next next few minutes. If you think that uh, you are going to get inspired by my talk, no, you are not going to get inspired. If you think it's a motivational, inspiring, or or a, or a speech, no, it is not. You will not get any inspiration or any speech, and you will not even be transformed to anything. 
it's not going to transform you also but listening to this I will at least transform some other's life you will come to know what inclusion means and what an inclusive society is so we'll just straight away go to the topic so uh, what does the word inclusion means the world summit for social development uh, at copenhagen in 1995 was the first ever event where inclusion was given priority and official status in short inclusion means a society for all so the definition of inclusion is an inclusive society is a society that overrides differences of race gender class disabilities and ensures inclusion equality and opportunity for all in simple terms it's a wonderful uh, ecosystem which doesn't discriminate people based on their gender religion caste physical abilities or financial status so it's a beautiful world world where everyone is treated as equal if you're an athlete or a disabled person or transgender you all are given the same stature uh to make it more simple i'll use this picture to tell you what an inclusion is i am very sure that uh, most of you have uh, still remember this picture it's a picture of 2003 when our beloved shushma uh, suraj uh, ma'am was the health minister she had visited kerala and you can see two, those two lovely kids bensi and benson they had a tragic story their parents were hiv affected and uh, they they died and these children were taken care of by the grandfathers and sad thing is that uh, they also had hiv tested positive and because of that uh, a lot of stigma was attached they were not allowed in any public function they were not given the care they didn't have friends to make it worse the local people even protested uh, uh, to stop their education basic rights education is denied you can imagine the trauma they would have had to face but then media uh, came into the picture media took up the story and circulated it and those times we didn't have social media also 2003 it was all pure print media magic and uh, uh, shushma madam uh, saw this she was so kind to come down to kerala she met those kids uh, you can see the picture she hugged them embraced them and the rest is history so this is uh, this picture in simple terms is what is a uh, uh, inclusion you can see how she is including them uh, treating them as equal and uh, the life change actually unfortunately the kids are uh, no more uh, now but uh, this really uh, brought a change and really brought the way people thought about uh, uh, kids affected with hiv before uh, inclusion came inclusion the word inclusion came because there exists a word called social exclusion so social exclusion is a trauma uh, it's already there in the society it it means uh, it is actually lack or denial of resources rights goods and services and the inability to participate in normal relationships and activities available to the majority of the people uh you would have understood like people are discriminated people are avoided people are excluded that's uh, what is social exclusion we have basically two kinds of social exclusions one is hatred based social exclusion that you discriminate people based on their race religion cast their financial conditions etc but uh, we should not be discussing it here today because it's 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 very uh, vested actually lots of politics lots of money have been pumped to create divide between race and religion and caste and uh, we are not strong enough to compete that but we can be a part of the journey but discussing that will be a waste of time here so let us discuss the second thing that's ignorance based social exclusions this is like something you do unintentionally you love them you love the people around you but you uh, uh, exclude them without uh, uh, thinking that it will affect them a like discrimination based on disabilities is one of them based on age is one of them gender body shaming compatibilities all those things come under uh, uh, social exclusions so it's it's where we can start uh, working on the change because it's not impossible to uh, 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 clean the society from social exclusions you can still work on that and uh, you being the change makers can be the strong part of that now um, if you ask me is this topic relevant yes this topic is relevant because uh, who says 1 billion people are affected with a uh, disability that is 15% of the society um it's a big number and now just asking you a simple question you must have also felt excluded at some point of your life like 
if one of your friends doesn't call you for his birthday party you don't get invited to functions people don't uh, discriminate you based on your dress you all feel offended right even i i am also i also have felt excluded or offended so you can imagine the pain that happens to you but that is a temporary thing right but imagine the conditions of the people uh, marginalized in society who have to face this exclusion throughout their life the figures say is that a marginalized person uh, suffers 15 to 23 percent please uh, remember 15 to 23 percent more pain than a normal person so this topic is definitely of uh, of relevance and we should be able to put our support to that thank you so much i will not be as i discuss i will not be discussing about uh, the hated based exclusions which is based on religion and caste but let us give uh, let us discuss something uh, which is uh, based on ignorance uh, ignorance based uh, uh, discrimination i am sure uh, can someone send, can can someone tell what exactly is this is what kind of discrimination is being shown here from the image from the image as said this is the world's biggest discrimination and this is not gender based discrimination this is actually a discrimination based on the age in simple words we direct indirectly uh, uh, discriminate older generation people uh, who has actu- uh, this 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 particular discrimination is called ageism uh, note this word ageism this is actually one of the four major challenges that who has identified for the next decades that the world has to face through every year 6.3 million people are discriminated based on their age 6.3 india uh, we know that uh, we all love our seniors we have a big cultural practice respect senior but in the world ageism standard we come on the bottom level so it is important to know that exists and who has termed uh, 2021 to 2030 the next dec- this this decade as the age of healthy aging as the decade of healthy aging that uh, we all should support and uh, make sure that uh, the ageism doesn't affect persons mentally uh you know why because ageism as per the who ageism leads to social isolation financial insecurity people f- tend to feel depressed and then sometimes uh, uh, it leads to premature death so those are the things which affects people with uh, ageism and every second person in this world me or you have done age based discrimination even i have sometimes my kid also my kid also uh, questions my grandmother because she is not able to technology to use the smartphone so those are also a part of discrimination but that those are indirect discrimination we don't uh, mean to offend them because we love them but that happens usually there are two kinds of discrimination age based discrimination one is direct direct uh, age based discrimination where you feel you are stronger than elderly people and you physically abuse them or mentally abuse them with words or with your physical beat them so that is direct actually um, just because uh, they can they can't run with you or they can't uh, participate in football game or they can do the do they can't do the plumbing job that doesn't mean that we have to discriminate them they can, they have to be left out of the homes which they built that is one type of direct discrimination then another major age based discrimination what we see in the society is uh, job interviews i hardly see people above 50 being invited for jobs or 60 being invited for jobs even though they have a biggest experience they are not the cvs are not even circulated then uh, insurance policies you don't have any insurance policies for senior people even loans are they 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 find it tough to get loans uh, from banks so that is uh, indirect disc- that is direct discrimination because on the paper itself it said you are not allowed okay and now uh, the second one is the uh, second one is the indirect uh, discrimination okay indirect discrimination is uh, something which you ignorantly do like when the covid 19 came the first people who were not allowed to move out of the house were kids and the senior people that's because we love them obviously we love them but uh, we told to, it it gives them a feeling that they are not strong so they can't move out they will catch corona easily than others so you have to remain inside so it it's a way of indirectly uh, unknowingly discriminating them even though the intention was to support them and then uh, this one more example of uh, beautiful example of indirect age based discrimination is the 
anti aging creams you know how it's advertised right it it says age is age getting aged old old is bad so it doesn't support uh, getting older so indirectly it is it is uh, discriminating old people so this is uh, like it's it's a very like uh, the uh, they have far more experience than us like it uh, they have taken a lot of efforts elderly people have taken a lot of efforts in building what we are right now so we should be able to support them back equally we never invite them for any technical discussion uh, or any relevant discussion we don't do that so like they have earned more than what we are at this moment and we should know we should gain from the experience we should spend more time with them uh, otherwise uh, as the loneliness in fact in future we also have to face ageism so we have to we have to ensure that you no know, they are taking care of well this is a very common um, discrimination or uh, exclusion that happens in the society that's why i thought uh, to mention and a survey says uh, a survey of 1000 uh, people was done and only four or five people were aware of what ageism means that's why i have asked the question so so that is one type of uh, exclusion anushra can i have uh, uh, one of the videos uh, on uh, transgender like transgender is not a scary subject you have that video with you right yes yeah, sir sure we will present it you can see you can a video see. this is about a second uh, type of uh, exclusion yeah, transgender because it's yeah you can you can go ahead it's what we should do today tomorrow forever my name is samuel bernstein i'm 15 years old and i am transgender when i was younger i was told i was a girl i accepted it because i didn't think i was allowed to be anything else but then my body started to change i could tell you i was hitting puberty but it felt like puberty was hitting me they told me i was becoming a woman i accepted it because i didn't think i was allowed to be anything else but i was no longer myself i became irritable and pushed away my friends i began having panic attacks in hidden school bathrooms for hours at a time i no longer knew what happy felt like by the time i was 13 I was carving my pain into my own skin and I didn't want to be alive anymore. I was miserable, but I didn't know why. One day I sat in a psychiatrist's office as he asked me to define my own gender. I told him I was a girl because I didn't think I was allowed to be anything else. But that night I was still stuck on the question. I went online and started exploring and came across the word transgender. I'd never heard it before. Transgender someone who identifies with a gender other than the one assigned at birth immediately i knew exactly who i was that same night i told my mom i wasn't a girl and instantly i felt a fulfillment i hadn't felt in years my entire personality started to change as i began to express who i truly was i was happy again i'm not telling you all my very very personal story today so that you will feel bad for me I am telling my story because I have to. For many people, transgender is a scary word. Most people don't know what it really means, and even if they do, they're very uncomfortable talking about it. So that's why I'm here today. To prove that like everybody else here, I'm just a person whose identity deserves recognition and respect. Because while you may be scared of me, you do not realize that i am scared of you too when i began to express who i truly was i thought the hard part was over i thought that i'd discovered myself and all my struggles would just magically go away because i could live as my true gender but i was so wrong i am scared i am scared of not being accepted i am scared of being harassed in public bathrooms I am scared of doctors not knowing how to treat me. I am scared of growing up and facing workplace discrimination. I am scared that in this world my legal rights could literally be ripped away from me at any moment. 
i am scared that some people may never see me as a real man i am scared not only for myself but for every single transgender person living in this world especially transgender women non-binary transgender people disabled trans people trans people of color and queer trans people who will face so much more discrimination and ignorance and hate in this world than i a straight white transgender male will ever have to even so i am scared we are scared but we shouldn't have to be transgender should not be a scary word no identity should ever be scary or weird or shameful we as people need to come together we need to celebrate diversity but in doing so we need to focus less on what makes us different yep. and focus more on what makes Thank us different thank you anisha you can just pause this topic uh, because yeah, under all of the it's a, it's a it's a lengthy video so i don't want to i just wanted to give you an idea of what the transgenders feel like what the pain they go through i'm i i'm i really doubt if any one of you have any transgender uh, transgender as your good friend I, people get scared by seeing transgender if any of you have your friends as transgenders then hats off to you thank you so much okay can we okay, have can the, the one more video the, like we will just play two more videos uh, the video on disability yes sure sir So we have just, so we have just sorry go ahead go ahead over 1 billion people worldwide have a disability that's more than 15% of the world's population most live in developing countries this number is expected to grow due to factors such as conflict aging stunting and natural disasters persons with disabilities face higher rates of poverty compared with others They encounter biases and barriers when accessing basic services. When they're excluded, it's harder to escape the cycle of poverty and marginalization. That's why disability inclusive development plays an important role in the World Bank's goals of ending extreme poverty and promoting shared prosperity. How do we break down barriers and ensure no one is left behind? By enabling Imani to go to school. providing her teacher with the tools necessary to meet her needs and giving her family access to support services and assistive devices by helping Lee understand the high risk situation in the event of an emergency and fostering a work environment that gives him a reasonable accommodation through visual signage and other devices when persons with disabilities are included in everyday activities they can and do participate and contribute to society Join us in building inclusive, resilient, and sustainable communities for all. Let's start here and learn more. Download the framework from our resource platform. Thank you, Anishra. So we just saw what we. I just explained to you what ageism means. Then uh, we also discuss uh, disability. Uh, you saw the video disability. You also saw also what uh, transgender means and what they have to face through. one more last one more video we just play it's about a very unique kind of exclusion that happens in society and fortunately not in india can we have a which boy which video anishra yeah sure sir no one is feeding the child yeah no bother no bother Du skal med mig. Nu skal du ikke være her længere. Men du skal med mig. Mange er blevet beskyldt for at være en heks. Vi ved overhovedet ikke, hvem der har beskyldt ham for at være en heks. Vi ved bare, at han er blevet efterladt af forældrene.
thanks anashura thank you so much uh, so that's it regarding the videos so just want to give you a brief idea of the kind of exclusions that the world has to face disability transgender ageism just few of them which you which you know now now and now what now the next question is how uh, you or me or media or youth can uh, change uh, can be the change makers i would love to uh, start that by going back to my presentation i like to give our experience because when i say about the group i as again mentioned i'm not a part of any ngo it's just a whatsapp group you can be a part of it it's a group of common uh, youngsters and people from all other walks so we just form and we do casual things so uh, i can share with you uh, on what uh, the uh, friends in this group who are majorly from media also and uh, youth also what they did uh, to 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 fight uh, inclusions exclusion in fact sorry one second this is the uh, you i'm i'm audible yes sir you are audible this is the whatsapp group which we formed in 2018 on the day of flood that is august 15 2018 uh, initially we we built house houses uh, uh, you can see uh, uh, 14 houses of this kind were done by this simple whatsapp group it's mentioned also this house was done by us and this house was done by the social engineers engineering students civil engineering students of our group okay this is one uh, story i would like to share with you because this is what media can do what uh, journalists can do you can see the first uh, top left article which mentioned that uh, after the flood uh, a house got a, a tent uh, got washed away and the person a person of 70 years he had to stay in a toilet public toilet for two weeks and we came across to that and we we means the youth uh, and we wanted to build a house for him but uh, the administrating officers didn't give the permission didn't have land so many legal issues complaints they mentioned we approached the friends from media who were with us and immediately the story came in the media and immediately after the story came uh, the legal service authority came into action and they figured it out and you can see the english article where uh, the whatsapp group builds house for the august dedo ji is there so we could uh, this 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 project is very special for us because this was a joint effort of uh, a media and youth when the house construction was done by students like we wanted to save on the labor costs so students from pulling on the engineering college they came 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 to us and, and did the work of construction of constructing the house and this is another one uh, uh, another kind of inclusive inclusive world we wanted to create you can see greetings card on the right and on the left side you can see students they are basically blind students of olesa uh, uh, school in kotayam district olasha actually so so what they uh, wanted was they also had uh, one of the kids in that group didn't have a house the rest of the blind students they have they had houses so they wanted to gift a house to a uh, house suite no they want to gift a house to their uh, colleague classmate so what we did was we we uh, made them do the paintings we made greetings card and we auctioned them and uh, to our surprise we didn't expect more than 50000 to be collected we could collect uh, close to 2 lakhs and uh, we gifted it to the student students and they made the house for their colleague so brilliant way of uh, supporting uh, inclusiveness and uh, the person on the left uh, he he's a specially able person his name is satyan he was a kerala cricket state player before an accident happened and became disabled and to add more woes two of his colleagues were so depressed uh, uh, with uh, being physically disabled that they committed suicide they went crawled and went to a well and they jumped into the well and died then he thought that he should not stay like this then he created a group called fairland you can see on the right the members 16 members are there and they started uh, uh, making printing units they started making the cloths and all printing press kind of things but again the floods happened and the road goes washed away then we joined with them now they are a part of us they dictate things to us and we uh, helped them by getting uh, the new printing units and now they have started back to their livelihood but very inspirational personality uh no when i when we spoke to them now they are a part of us we spoke to them then only we came to know what are the problems they face in fact the biggest wish was to three they had three biggest wish one was to bath and see which they thought they never could do then watch a movie and then travel in a houseboat fortunately uh, our inclusive world we could commit uh, do all three for them we took them for a movie in trivandrum we took them for a houseboat ride and you can see a happy picture of them uh, bathing in the uh, beach Uh, so this is what they want they want to be just like us 
and satyan is really inspiration personality and he is now the head of uh, our uh, disability cell where he uh, uh, watches for the rights of the disabled people especially able people disability is a wrong word especially able we thought we should not stop here and uh, uh, we launched something called equals equals is a, a symbol which we designed this group designed equals marks uh, you can read it actually the equal marks reaffirms our commitment to provide equal opportunities and uh, building an equal world like what we do is uh, uh, whatever projects we do we involve include uh, people with special uh, abilities transgenders uh, that is our uh, we are watching for that actually you can see uh, this is the device which i has mentioned even your colleague noble is also involved closely in this this was done uh, uh, at alapay collectorate uh, this is a device uh, which was the first device in the world to be tested on sars cov2 virus and that was all done because of the connections uh, uh, the youth and media had and we ensure that each of these devices has some support from transgender or special able community it could be packing it could be designing it could be the social media promotions they do so that is what we do as an inclusive campaign you can see this device now due to the blessings and due to the good good, good will nature of the people involved uh, people like salman john abraham and we all supported you can see this device in all the pvr cinemas across india we also had a, a nanma uh, to promote inclusiveness we also had this uh, employability center uh, this is done with the kerala police usually uh, the children of criminals uh, they don't go to school because of being discriminated there and they usually fall out of the class school they don't write exams and they also have the tendency to become criminals so what we did was uh, with the help of police we trained them it's called it was done by jci jci is the largest world largest body for youth anybody in the age of 18 to 40 can join and membership is absolutely complete just, um, it's like free free so what we did was we trained them uh, we gave classes to these 10th uh, uh, these students who uh, came, uh, dropped out of the schools and last 3 years we have been training them and every year it's a 100% success rate so what happens is once they finish the school uh, they have the sense of empowerment they feel they are empowered and we also uh, through this employment center we were able to give jobs to seven people imagine they would have end up in, as a criminal or something else or an anti social element or maybe they would not reach anywhere but because of an inclusive program by the youth and media we have we could give, give jobs to seven people and on the right side you can see a skill development program which we did we train people uh, like even elderly people we train them on usage of mobiles this is also done with the help of jclp jivan is a special project um, sorry i'm just keeping you about telling you about our project but this is not our project this, this is not just uh, my project this is all ours project so this is a, actually a, a stitching center for the uh, single mothers who lost their jobs during the kerala floods so we used uh, school room classrooms uh, to support uh, to provide stitching centers and the uniforms of the children were stitched and this really uh, became a, a a big name right now right now uh, these single mothers are exporting their clothes to countries like australia and new zealand uh, you can see flood affected then uh, and not just clothes they also make uh, paper bags uh, and they also make election garlands so a lot of things uh, this uh, beautiful group of uh, single mothers have done Uh, this is a uh, really a very special story i would end with this i believe uh, this is about a girl called shanti shanti is a special child she can draw with one hand but more importantly she is a musician she can compose good songs and her sister sings for her so we came uh, she is a part of our family uh, our group so we asked her what was her biggest dream so she said her biggest dream was to uh, have her song recorded in a studio but we thought we'll make it more special we understood that her idol just like all of us was chitra k chitra so we uh, gave her a surprise um, maybe uh, can you play that video uh, uh, shanti shanti uh, anishwar can you play that video called shanti yeah sure sir we can play this is important because uh, uh, this was only done uh, that because we had the support of media i'll tell you what happened after this video ആശിച്ചു പോകുന്ന ഒരു യാത്രക്കിടെ മറ്റൊരു സന്തോഷം കൂടി കടന്നു വന്നാൽ അത് ഇരട്ടി മധുരവുമാണ് കൈപ്പേറിയ ജീവിതാനുഭവങ്ങളിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോകുന്നവർക്കാണെങ്കിൽ അത് മറക്കാനാവാത്ത നിമിഷവുമായിരിക്കും അത്തരത്തിൽ ഒരു പെൺകുട്ടിയുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലുണ്ടായ മധുര മുഹൂർത്തത്തെ കുറിച്ചാണ് ഇനിയുള്ള വാർത്ത
ഭിന്നശേഷിക്കാരായ പതിനഞ്ച് പേരുടെ കുട്ടനാടൻ യാത്ര മാവേലിക്കരയിലെ ഫെയർലാൻഡ് എന്ന സ്വയം സഹായ സംഘത്തിലെ അംഗങ്ങളാണ് ഇവരെല്ലാം ഇക്കൂട്ടത്തിൽ ഒരാളാണ് ശാന്തി ശാരീരിക ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുകൾ കാരണം സ്കൂളിലൊന്നും പോകാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞിരുന്നില്ല എങ്കിലും ശാന്തിക്ക് പാട്ടെഴുത്ത് ഇഷ്ടമാണ് പാട്ട് പാടാനും പാടി കേൾക്കാനും എല്ലാം ഈ യാത്ര തുടങ്ങാനിരിക്കെ സംഗീത സംവിധായകൻ കൈലാസ് മേനോനും ബോട്ടിലെത്തി ശാന്തി എഴുതിയ ഒരു പാട്ട് കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് കൈലാസ് കഥ മാറി ബോട്ടിലെ ടി വി സ്ക്രീനിൽ കെ എസ് ചിത്ര ഒരു പാട്ട് പാടാൻ ഒരുങ്ങുന്നു അതെ ശാന്തി എഴുതിയ പാട്ട് അവളുടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട പാട്ടുകാരി പാടി കേൾപ്പിച്ചു ശാന്തി സ്വപ്നം കണ്ടതിലും ഉയരെയായിരുന്നു ഈ മുഹൂർത്തം വാക്കുകൾ ഇടറിക്കൊണ്ട് അവൾ സംസാരിച്ചു തുടങ്ങി ഞാനിങ്ങനെ എഴുതിയത് പുറത്തു വരുമെന്ന് ഒരിക്കലും ഞാൻ പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ചില്ല ശരിക്കും പഠിച്ചിട്ടില്ല ഞാന് മൊത്താശ്രയത്തായിരുന്നു പുറത്ത് കാണിക്കാൻ പോലും എനിക്ക് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടായിരുന്നു എന്റെ പാട്ടൊക്കെ ഞാൻ സ്വപ്നം പോലും കാണാൻ സംഭവമായത് എനിക്ക് ഒരുപാട് സന്തോഷം പ്രളയകാലത്ത് രൂപം കൊണ്ടൊരു വാട്സാപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പാണ് ഈ യാത്ര ഒരുക്കിയത് ലൈഫില് അവർക്ക് ഇത്ര നാളായിട്ട് കിട്ടാത്തൊരു ഡ്രീം നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമ്പോ അവരെ കാട്ടിലും കൂടുതൽ സന്തോഷം നമുക്കാണ് അതിനുവേണ്ടി ഉള്ള ഒരു എഫേർട്ടാണ് so now uh tell us what we can do so i just said uh, like what our experience was that but being a media uh, uh you are the most powerful tool the world has you are the strongest uh, entity that we have seen even the bigger challenges world's biggest problems have been solved by media like just the way we treat our doctors and uh, army uh, police as superheroes the media is also a superhero you have the courage to challenge the biggest issues even which even the mightiest people don't do so there is a lot you can do even the stories which i showed you you can see they would never have uh, happened unless media was there regarding shanti's case i missed to tell you once this happened she became a overnight uh, sensation like she got a lot of offers for albums uh, then after 3 uh, months uh, this was someone who supported and came forward to build her a house build a house for her she didn't have a house then recently last month she got a shop uh, sponsored uh, where she could sell uh, stationery items so those those are positive things which happened because of the media intervention again media and youth together so that is what you can do um, let just first thing is to listen to them most issues they uh, the the uh, special able or marginal people say is that people don't listen to them people don't give time to them so i am sure uh, as i mentioned the depression is more than us if you can listen to them be with them even in your houses your grandparents your your uh, see uh, elder mother father you should be uh, spending time to them you should listen to them you should uh, understand their problem so that is one way you can do second what media can do is to create positive stories usually uh, we can see in media or print and all or newspapers they are represented as like you know with pity uh, on charity charity news we see we see them as underprivileged but what we can do is we can bring positive stories we can create them as superheroes like which will also inspire people like us normal people also it will be inspired so that positive changes uh, uh, can be done and even even uh, uh, the surveys uh, or or if you ask them the biggest dream uh, biggest uh, interest they some at least i am sure many of them many of the marginalized people will say they want to be part of news 
we should empower them if some article about about them comes in the media they feel like a, a superstar so let us have create uh, let us have create positive stories then spread information uh, most of the marginalized people uh, marginalized community don't have access to information uh, due to technology issues remote geographical issues so we can give them information about the rights they have uh, we can give the information about uh, the opportunities that exist in the world employment opportunities those things can be done raising awareness is important thing media can be a very powerful voice to raise awareness because we have a lot of misconception we treat them as discriminated we, we don't include them in any of our things so raising awareness can be a, a big thing which only the media can do so that is what you can do then provide trainings uh, as i mentioned uh, you can tie up with organizations like rotary jci or or uh, you, uh, media can uh, spread the news of any such events happening training events happening we can train them motivate them uh, not just motivate them we can also give them skill development trainings those things can be done execute campaign this is very special uh, i'm sure you all can be a part of that like i'm very sure if you check uh, when i asked a few of our friends uh, who are disabled the biggest wish was to go to a cloth shop uh, a shop a big shop where they can see a lot of dresses hanging it's it's for the it's for the a, a girl child okay girl child who are specially able so they wanted to see, see clothes uh, they know some of the dresses they can't even wear actually like sarees they can't wear but they want to see the colors they love colors but the problem is even in kochi uh, like the biggest malls like emax or trends they don't have a ramp can you imagine the theaters 99% of 90% of the theaters in in kerala or in india they don't have ramps for physically disabled to go but do you know how, how much is cost to build a ramp a wooden ramp won't cost even more than 3000 rupees even we can collect we should be able to bring the change from there you can execute campaigns to start having the ramps for such areas even in your offices or in your friends offices you can request and these ramps don't have to be permanent they can be just kept in somewhere storeroom and when some disabled person comes you can be used so those things can be done and then one more campaign you can do is you can invite uh, uh, elderly people or uh, disabled members if your friends have such uh, such in their family they can be invited to your offices so those make them happy those things can be done then uh, what media can do is media can identify change makers there are a lot of people who work for disabled a lot of lot of people who are disabled who are superheroes so let us have brand ambassadors let us create brand ambassadors media can do that and and, uh, and they will be the voice of the voiceless so a lot of uh, such things can be done which can only be done by the media and uh, uh, opportunities uh, um, can be uh, shared uh, opportunities available in the in the industry, in, in the world can be told so such things can be told uh, and i'll just finish it I'm, time is running i know i'm just like love to end this note by saying inclusivity is not about giving privileges it is about not giving privileges you can read again you don't have to give privileges to uh, like giving them kits or food kits or money it's not what they want it's not about giving people it's about giving equal stages they have to be treated equally uh, and uh, we have to support that the role of media is to ensure that uh, they are taken care of well and uh, we have to uh, change the world way we see this world we have to change the way we see treat and uh, react to a marginalized community if not slowly they will end up in isolation uh, depression and slowly it will be premature death we, we talk about saving lives right we talk about saving lives but this is also like saving life if you can add more years to their life by motivating them or giving them opportunity treating them like a, nothing like that so with that i come to the end of the session and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank you so much maybe question session if somebody wants to have a question i am open to taking it thank you so much sir for the wonderful session now we are moving to the q and a both the participants in online and offline can ask questions if they have any yeah i think uh, yeah question is there yes. hello sir my name is rishika and i am doing rishika Rishika, R I S H I K A. Nice Rishika. Tell me. Oh, I am switching my question to my mother tongue because I am going to share a experience and with yeah. that question, okay. Sure. Uh, sir, or a sham. I am going to school. I am. I am a friend. I am. 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 I am
അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ഇടയ്ക്ക് ഞങ്ങളിങ്ങനെ സംസാരിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് ആ കുട്ടി പറയുന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നു ആ കുട്ടി കുറിച്ച് തിന്നുവാണ് കുറച്ച് ഒരു ഡാർക്ക് സ്കിൻ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കുട്ടിയും കൂടിയാ അപ്പൊ ആ കുട്ടി ഇങ്ങനെ പറയുന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നു സൊസൈറ്റി ചെയ്യുന്ന പലരും ഈ കുട്ടിനെ ഈ ഉരുങ്ങിയൊക്കെ ഉള്ള രീതിയിൽ വിധിൽ പലരും വിളിച്ച് അധിക്ഷേപിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഭയങ്കര ബോഡി ഷേമിങ് ആയിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് അതുമാത്രമല്ല ഇങ്ങനെ സംസാരിച്ചു വന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇപ്പൊ സ്നാപ് ചാറ്റിലെ ആൾക്കാർ കൂടുതലും ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇങ്ങനെ ഫോട്ടോ ആണ് സംബന്ധിച്ച് ചേച്ചി സ്നാപ് ചാറ്റ് ഉണ്ടോ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു എന്റെ സ്നാപ് ചാറ്റ് ഇല്ല അത് രീതിയിൽ കാരണം വെച്ചാൽ അവളുടെ ഉള്ളിന്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ തന്നെ ഒരു കോംപ്ലക്ഷൻ ഉണ്ട് അവളെ ഡാർക്ക് സ്കിൻ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ആ സൊസൈറ്റി അംഗീകരിക്കത്തില്ല എന്ന് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ അവള് പറഞ്ഞ് കൊടുക്കുക ചെയ്യണം നമ്മള് നമ്മുടെ ബോഡിനെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് ആണ് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് കാരണം വെച്ചാല് നമ്മുടെ ബോഡി ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാതിരിക്കുന്നത് അത് നമ്മളോട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഏറ്റവും വലിയൊരു പാപമാണ് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ അവളുടെ പറഞ്ഞ് മനസ്സിലാക്കി കൊടുക്ക ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഒരിക്കലും നമ്മൾ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാൻ പാടില്ല എന്ന് പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മുടെ സൊസൈറ്റിയിൽ എന്താ പറയാ ഒരു ആക്സെപ്റ്റൻസി ഒരു കുറവാണ് ഇപ്പൊ കുറെ വരുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും ബട്ട് ഇപ്പൊ വലിയ വലിയ ആളുകൾ അവർ വരുന്നുണ്ട് അവളുടെ വീട്ടിൽ തന്നെ ചില ബന്ധുക്കൾ അവളെ കളിയാക്കുന്നുണ്ട് നീ ഒരിക്കലും ഫുഡ് ഒന്നും കൊടുക്കുന്നില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു അവരുടെ അടുത്ത് നീ അത് കേൾക്കേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യമില്ല അത് ശരിക്കലും കാരണം നീ അത് ഡോൺ കെയർ കാരണം അവളുടെ ഇനിയുള്ള ഏജ് വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇനി അവൾക്ക് ബോഡി ചേഞ്ചസ് ഉണ്ടാവും ഓരോ ഏജ് കഴിയുമ്പോഴേക്കും അവളുടെ ശരീരത്തിൽ മാറ്റങ്ങൾ വരും പക്ഷെ അതുകൊണ്ട് നീ ഇപ്പൊ അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് കൺസേൺ ആവാതെ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗോൺ വിത്ത് യുവർ ലൈഫ് എന്ന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞുകൊടുത്തു പലപ്പോഴും അങ്ങ് നമ്മുടെ സൊസൈറ്റിയിൽ ഒരു ഈ ഒരു കോംപ്ലക്ഷൻ ഇല്ലേ സർ ഇത് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഉണ്ട് ഇൻഫാക്ട് നമ്മളും ഗേൾസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മള് നമ്മള് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂട്ടത്തിലുള്ള പിള്ളേരെ ഞാനും തിരിച്ച് എന്നേം ഐ എം ആക്ച്വലി ഓവർ വെയ്റ്റ് അപ്പൊ അത് ഹാബിറ്റ് ആവുങ്കിൽ പോലും ഫോർ സം ഫോർ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ ഇറ്റ് അഫക്ട്സ് അലോട്ട് സോ അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ഋഷി ഫോർ ഫോർ ഐഡന്റിഫൈങ് ദിസ് അപ്പം കുട്ടിയെ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഐ എം ഐ ഐ ഫീൽ ആസ് യു സേ ദ ചേഞ്ചസ് വിൽ കം ഇൻ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ബട്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം അതൊരു പ്രശ്നം തന്നെയാണ് ബോഡി ഷേമിങ് ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ഇഷ്യൂ ആണ് ഞാൻ സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി ഗേൾസ് ഞാൻ അതാണ് നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞത് നമ്മൾ ഇഗ്നറൻസ് ബേസ്ഡ് എക്സ്ക്ലൂഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ചെറുത് അറിഞ്ഞിട്ട് റിലിജന്റെ പേരിൽ റേസിന്റെ പേരിലൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ കാസ്റ്റിന്റെ പേരിൽ മാറ്റി നിർത്തും പക്ഷേ ഇത് അറിയാതെ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഇത് എഫക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അവരെ സോ അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് യു താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് So, I think we're going to have lunch time, right? So, have a... Hello, sir. Yeah. I'm Shmi. Yeah. I like Shmi. Uh, sir, this is just an observation. Um, you have such a rich profile. You are one of the managing directors of uh, Shmi Ayurveda. You have such a rich profile. You are one of the managing directors of Vismaya Max, Aries, Plex. Um, and one of the top branding strategists. you've been through a lot of experience in your professional uh, arena also still you wanted to stress on the social responsibility side um, and you wanted to mold young journalists um, like us there are a lot of young uh, students here who are learning journalism uh, who are learning advertising basics of journalism and advertising and um, but uh, research scholars like me so it was um, still you wanted to stress on the social responsibility and human side of the journalism and uh, um, the branding which we see uh, in the media thank you sir this was indeed an informative uh, and a sto- soul stirring session i guess thank you so much lakshmi can i add to that you can just chota ipo nammala logathile etum illa disabled friendly organization edan ariyo corporate company edan ariyo it's it's eny ernst and young eny is because ana uh, adile that is only reason the reason is because earth young one of the founders Uh, he was deaf and visibility was not less so fully at the manchil aki he was a part of the society he was a, he was a, a special uh, person so he understood the problem of that adondana fully atlan cheyad appo nammal aa kootathil chellumbara nammal prashna arigunnathu so if you ask me maybe last 3 4 years mumbe enikku idonnu ari means i was not aware of uh, such problems so when i was with them i understood and i knew that uh, the stories which i mentioned proves that media can make a change appo adu endu kondu ellarum ariyanam media can do namukku oru effort illada nadanadilla we didn't have to put a lot of effort it just happened because a media person youth person a like minded person ne nadan so that is why i want to address it and so thanks thanks once again to all of you thank you sir thank you.